So today is day two, and I just got here. Like Tom literally loaned me his truck. I've been driving this around. And last night I went to buy water, and I got I almost got lost. <laughs> What's going on, Tom? Uh, just trying to figure out if we have enough space for this truck. How many pallets? Six, 32. 32 pallets? Yeah. So early in the morning. It's, oh, yeah. it's 8 a.m. I already have 32 pallets coming Screwed in. Screwed up our breakfast. Yeah. Hey, good morning, uh, sir. Hey, I'm Tom. How are you? 32 pallets. 32? <laughs> Is that all? This is actually like a fireproof, explosion proof case. So this battery is 32.85 volts. Right. So you just basically, you can build a power wall out of these. You can literally screw them in. Uh, 180 amp hour Life PO4 batteries. Four of these will make a perfect 12 volt, like 2.2 kilowatt system. And also these will be good for um, uh, replacements for golf carts. We can make these into six volt batteries. So I'm standing right next to seven pallets of this LiPo 4 battery stuff. It's like they're stacked up to the top. There are a bunch of them over here. Look. That's a lot of batteries right there. So we're going around the whole warehouse and talking about the future of battery hookup. You see, part of this story that you guys don't know is how everything started. And that's something that I want to show you because Tom and his family is not someone that came out of nowhere. They actually have like a really interesting story of how everything became what is known now, alarm hookups. It's soon going to be battery hookups. And then we'll need three more uprights and eight beams. So right now we are in a surplus store, something like that, for warehouse and offices. The whole idea is to renovate the area where battery hookup is working. Their employees, they need higher workbench. And also, since they're expanding so fast, the whole, they, they need to get like shelves so they could put pallets and pallets on top of it. Right now they're going through all the details about what is what is that they need, how much space, what's the length and everything. So hopefully today we get to to get my hands a little bit dirtier right now. I'm just I haven't done done that much. So yeah. Even in Ben Stout, I have to use my little rag. Um, so this is what's going on. We just put shelves. And that's going to be like the main batteries are going to be used for processing down the line. And hopefully, they're going to start from here. You're going to take batteries from there. 
put it on the table, it's gonna be right here. And after that, you're gonna move down the line and hopefully it's gonna get way better to process the batteries and be faster with that. So yeah, that's what's going on. I think Tom is happy. Are you happy, Tommy? Yeah. You tell people what I've been doing with you, like messing with your store. Oh yeah. <laughs> be doing the whole thing. So how do you feel about this? New changes? How yeah. do you feel? It's refreshing. Yeah. New stuff. Running out of space, yeah. yeah. It's kinda nice.